how to use app sheet hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use google's app sheet so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see i'm on their main website and what we're going to do is we're going to click on get started over here and since this is a google product we don't have to worry about any other cool stuff we can just simply sign in with our google account now there is a pricing plan over here as you can see so let me just get started with that real quick so this is a starter plan and it starts at five dollars per user per month and in it you get basic applications and automation features you can connect to spreadsheets and cloud file storage providers and app sheet database as well you get access to that as well then you have the most popular one the core it starts at ten dollars per user per month it includes all the previous ones but it gets gives you advanced application and automation features application security control and you get email support as well and then you have the enterprise plus which is twenty dollars per user per month and in it you get all of them but you also get connect with spreadsheet google file storage and cloud database api sas SaaS services and enterprise and data services enhanced application security teams and governance control as well you get machine learning modeling priority support and app sheet database as well and down below you can see in more detail as to what it offers so you can see in the starter plans you get the basic ones but you don't get all of the other machine learning team collaboration and all of that in the core one you only get the advanced and cool stuff like that application security don't get the machine learning and stuff like that so it depends on you what you want but yeah so after that you can choose whichever plan you want and click on get started and once you have logged in with your google account this is how it is going to look like here you can build your apps uh, automate your workflow and connect existing databases right so what team do you work on so you just select the team that you work in all right so let's say i work in product design and engineering what process can we help you simplify uh we'll just select project and task management team directory and resources and yeah i think that's good and what describes you best so i have program experience i'm not comfortable with spreadsheet formula uh, none of the above and then we'll click on submit and here is your dashboard here you can go ahead and start creating your first app so over here build the app with rich views and access control and automated reminders and updates but down below over here on the left hand side you get uh, shared with me so you get all of the cool stuff that people have shared with you owned by me and then you have the template section as well so if you click on template it's going to open up in another tab and over here you have all these different options so you have simple survey all right uh, kanban board onboarding and training so you have all these different applications that people have you know created so let's go ahead and create one so we'll go ahead and click on copy all right choose a category uh simple survey we'll click on let's say marketing right and we'll click on copy app and then it's going to set up your new app give it a couple of seconds to load it up and here we are so this is how it will look like so here you will have your main options on the left hand side you have your forms your buttons uh colors and everything right and it's you can see it's copying the app you can explore the app but can't make edits because it's going to take a little bit of while and as you can see it's already done so yeah let's go ahead and give it some time to do that now while that happens let's go ahead and click over here and start with gemini if you want to or if you want to create your own one you can click on create option right here you will have your databases right here all right now let's go ahead and click on create new as you can see i already have it it's done i can go ahead and now edit the app survey so let's go ahead and actually move over there and see what we have so over here these are all the applications that we have right here right on the left hand side uh, this is the tablet view this is the phone view i think tablet is good because it gives us a little bit more screen to work with and see what's happening so here you have buttons one two or three what is it asking us we can add a form over here you can add different questions you can add the texts uh, you have your date uh, percentage drop down whatever you want to call it you can add them whatever you want and then you have the location as well then down below you have image files and signature so this is basically a form a survey form over here on a scale of one to ten right you can add that let's click over here on these buttons let's say on a scale of one to ten so here we have buttons right we click on buttons here we have a bunch of different ones so we'll go ahead and add one two three four five right one two three four five we'll add five on a scale of one to five right three four and here we'll go with five all right like that and now you have a text over here we'll say 
whatever you want to call it type enum that's good you can add enum list over here we could probably see it but i don't think we can so i'll just leave it at that and click on done so here we go right buttons here we go uh instead of buttons i'll call it one to ten on a scale of one to five on a scale of one to five how good is the product we can say it like that right and people can go ahead and select whatever we want and we can select the day percentage we can go ahead and see their likeness percentage so we'll click over here and over here in percentage uh we'll say over here you can see the maximum value minimum value increase decrease uh, over here in we'll call it likeness of the product and i think that should be it or whatever you want to call it how good is the product actually we'll go ahead and say i think i messed up probably no i think it's good okay and then on drop down we can select let's say your favorite color scheme whatever you want to call it so in the drop down let's say favorite colors it, this is basically uh just an example you can go ahead and add whatever you want however you want them and you should be good to go right and let's say you're done after that you just hit the save button and click on save and you are good to go after that a simple survey successfully okay it's saved but you know we don't have access to it because i don't know because of the owner of this survey but yeah once that's done you select the application all right it's saved all right so it didn't load up so i've opened it up again over here and i think this looks good after that let's say once it's done right let's say we copy and customize it and it i'll just add uh, marketing all right copy and customize it give it a couple of seconds to load up and once you have you know edited the app however you wanted it and it's done you can go ahead and click on the share button and over here you can share your application to the people you want and you are good to go so very simple this is how you do it this is how you use google app sheet and yeah there are other features as well such as on the left hand side such as actions and automations and intelligence but yeah we'll get to those some other time but for now this is how you create applications in app my sheet so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it. So having said that, Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.